Well, that is 23 News at 6. We'll see you again tonight at 11. In the meantime, have a pleasant evening. Good night. Well, we made it out of that. You're watching KERO-TV Bakersfield. Now, Lynn Sage, Bill Manders Sports, Joe Riddle Weather, and roving reporter Pablo Ferreira. Live from Kern County's news leader, this is 23 News at 6. Good evening. Already facing financial hardships, Kern County now finds itself facing an immediate crisis. An error discovered early this week made in calculating supplemental property tax estimates will mean immediate cutbacks and possible layoffs for many governmental agencies in the county. 23's Pablo Pereira joins us now with details. Well, that error is a costly one that was first discovered in late December when supplemental property taxes being paid to the county were less than anticipated. It's a $15 million mistake. Each city and district stands to lose roughly 50% of those supplemental property taxes, and the county will now have to trim $7 million from its budget. Not an easy task, considering there's just five months remaining in its fiscal year. The doors here at the County Administration Building were locked today, but up on the seventh floor, County Administrators were trying to figure out how to cope with a $15 million mistake. A mistake County Administrative Officer Gary Taylor first learned about last Tuesday. It was mind-boggling to say the least. We at that point requested the Auditor Controller and the Assessor to take a real close look and ensure us that the that the information we were pro being provided with is ex accurate to the best extent. They have gone back through and they are still working on the figures, but there's no question in their mind at this time that the, that the mistake has occurred. Now, it could be a, f a few dollars one way or the other, but it's still, the impact is going to be significant. Taylor says they're now working on short-term action to balance their budget through June 30th. A stop has already been made on all major equipment orders and all construction projects are now under review. New vehicle purchases may now have to be put on hold, but if that happens, more money will be needed for vehicle repairs. But most certainly, major changes will occur in several county departments. The department heads uh, that are responsible for providing the services are going to have some input into the process and, and let them be creative in ways that hopefully they might be able to reduce uh, their budgets in an amount that, uh, that would not affect services being presented to the public. At this time, I'm not sure if that's possible. I think that some areas are going are to hurt. Taylor says compounding the latest problem is last year's overestimate on potential revenue for Kern Medical Center. He says the two problems together will most certainly have a significant impact on county government and could mean the loss of jobs for several county employees. Personnel is a significant portion of the county's budget. And so, you know, you can only delete so many vehicles and you can only defer so many maintenance projects and those types of things. At some point, we're talking about people. Now, Taylor adds that not all county departments will be asked to make the across-the-board cuts, saying that some simply aren't capable of doing it. But it appears that cuts will have to be made somewhere, and personnel, which accounts for a large portion of the county budget, will most likely be affected. The issue will be brought up before the Board of Supervisors on Tuesday, at which time Taylor will explain the problems and present possible solutions. Now, this also compounds some problems the county already was facing, doesn't well, it? It really, it certainly does. As many of you already know, and we've been reporting uh, to everyone for quite some time, the County Workers Union, or SEIU, has been trying to uh, negotiate a new contract. The county has offered a 2% wage increase, among other incentives, but uh, Taylor isn't saying whether that offer currently on the table will have to be pulled back or not. You mentioned some areas that are going to be hurt. There are some other areas that will be hurt as well. Well, the, there really are some other areas. The city of Bakersfield, we didn't mention them in the story, but they'll have to cut about 1.2 percent of their general fund or about six hundred thousand dollars and city officials are telling us that uh, that's going to have quite an enormous impact on their budget, but uh, the school district, which stands to lose the bulk of the remaining eight million dollars, is said to be not in as bad a shape as the state generally reimburses districts for uh, lost property taxes. What a mess. It certainly is. Thanks, Pablo. Well, many of those incentives we saw not too long ago. Saturday Night Live.
Hi, I'm Lee Ames, owner of Pioneer Chevrolet. Going to be open tomorrow, Sunday. Giant used car inventory. And remember, tomorrow is a sale day. Every day is a sale day here at Pioneer Chevrolet. 1979 Buick at $39.99. 1975 Ford Mustang, $1,999. Here's a 1977, a Chevy Monte Carlo. This is a Landau, $1,599. Here's a 1980 model, a Mazda RX-7. $6,999, an 80 AMC Spirit at $39.99, a 79 half-ton pickup at $29.99. I want to show you these. I'm excited about them. An 81 Scottsdale at $69.99. Here's a 79 Scottsdale four-wheel drive at $49.99. Remember, we're going to be open tomorrow, Sunday, for your shopping convenience. I wish I had the time and space to show you our entire used car inventory. I can't. Come on down and see us tomorrow and take a look for yourself.